All right, man, let's talk about Cain Velasquez. This is a situation that I wish on absolutely no man, not even my worst enemy. It's something that is a father or a parent's worst nightmare. And that is somebody touching one of your family members, a four-year-old family member at that. Uh, for all of you who don't know who Cain Velasquez is, he's 39 years old. He's a two-time former UFC heavyweight champion, holding the title in 2010 and 2011, and then again from 2012 to 2015. The California native is considered one of the top heavyweight fighters of all time. Velasquez retired from MMA in 2019 and has been coaching at his longtime gym, American Kickboxing Academy in San Jose. He is somebody that, man, if you watch UFC, he was somebody that we would all admire, look up to, get pumped up. He was a big Mexican out there fighting for heavyweight and being, a, being the champ, right? Well, he was arrested on Monday on attempted murder charges. He was trying to shoot and or maybe kill Harry Jean Golarte, 43. He's from San Martin, California. He lives at a home daycare ran by his mother. Well, what this piece of work was doing, he was molesting Vasquez's family member. It happened multiple times, according to sources. Golarte was arraigned Friday on one felony count of lewd and lascivious act with a minor under the age of 14. But despite the district attorney objection of letting that, this guy go free, the judge did just that. The judge let him go. He did not put bail. He pretty much OR'd the guy, right? So while the guy was going, heading to get his ankle monitor put on, Velasquez followed him, allegedly. Uh, shot at the car who was, I want to say, was uh, Golartes himself, his uh, stepfather who was 63 years old, and his mother, which I don't know the age of, right? Well, Kane was in a rage. He fired shots again, allegedly, at the vehicle, shot uh, Golartes' stepfather with non-life-threatening injuries. He rammed his uh, Ford pickup truck into their vehicle, and... Uh, after that, he took off. There was a small 11-minute pursuit with the police officers, and then they arrested him. I My biggest problem at the moment, aside from that piece of work that hopefully gets his in time, is what the judge did. And that's what's wrong out here in California. How in God's name are you going to release a child minister a predator out there and put him on an ankle monitor and that's the reason because certain laws get dropped down to misdemeanors or or something that's a no bail system and now Kane can possibly spend many many years in prison because of this because of the system not doing what they're supposed to do protect the weakest of us and if children aren't the weakest i don't know what is the judge should be ashamed of himself the whole system should be ashamed of themselves kane velasquez did what many of us would have done do i say it was right do i say it was correct no but was he justified absolutely if i was in a jury would i convict him no i would let him plead out to uh to temporary insanity I don't think there's a jury in California that should convict the guy. The guy is going through some of the worst mental things you can go as a parent, as a man especially, to have another 43-year-old SOB sit there and touch one of your family members? No. Nah. I just hope to God that the justice system works in Cain Velasquez's favor, that they understand the situation, that they just don't look at him and say, oh, it's just attempted murder and throw the book at him because that guy could be facing a possible life sentence, you know, 20 years. Right now, from what I know, they got him booked an attempted murder, and that carries a life sentence in California or at least a good 10 or 20 years. And that'll be 10 or 20 years that he's away from his son. That's a horrible thing for a family member to go through, especially going through what they're going through right now. So this is what's going on in Cain Velasquez's world right now. Our prayers go out to him, his family. We are backing him 100%, just like most of the Raza is. 
We should back him. We should make noise and not let this thing die out where the guy just gets his life taken because the judicial system didn't stand up for him. If we don't stand up for ourselves and we don't stand up for our people, nobody else will, people. With that, I'm out.